Hello on this Friday, the 18th day of January 2008. I'm Kristen Volk with the UPI News Headline. President Bush is putting together an economic stimulus package in an effort to jumpstart the sagging economy. He's scheduled to unveil his plan later today. That reportedly includes income tax breaks for people, up to $800 for individuals and $1,600 for married couples. Yesterday, Bush discussed options over the phone with lawmakers with Treasury Secretary Henry Paulson. Those on Capitol Hill are reportedly considering smaller rebate checks and more money for the unemployed and people on food stamps. And time may be running out for Republican presidential hopeful Fred Thompson. Thompson has reportedly admitted that a disappointing finish in tomorrow's GOP primary in South Carolina may end his chances in the race. The former Tennessee senator is hoping that a combination of his southern roots and conservative views will lead to a breakthrough in South Carolina for his campaign. Thompson came in third in Iowa and received 1% of the vote in New Hampshire. And the CIA says al-Qaeda and followers of a tribal leader are to blame for the death of former Pakistani Prime Minister Benazir Bhutto. CIA Director Michael Hayden says fighters allied with Pakistani leader Baitullah Mesud, with support from al-Qaeda, plotted Bhutto's assassination. The two groups are also apparently behind the violence that threatens to destabilize Pakistan. Hayden warns that they intend to do more harm to the country in the future. And the Israeli defense minister has ordered that border crossings be closed that lead to and from the Gaza Strip. This comes after days of rocket firings into Israel by Palestinian militants in Gaza. More than 100 rockets have reportedly been fired. The Israeli army has retaliated with military strikes that have apparently killed at least two dozen Palestinians. The border closings will block food, fuel and medicine from entering Gaza. Thanks for watching today's headline and check out our weekly White House wrap-up on UPI.com. For all of us at UPI, have a great weekend.